Ben, Kelly. Rolling. Are we live? We are live. Are we live? <laughs> are we live? <laughs> What's up, friends? Welcome to the West Smith Variety Show, episode number 47, with a derailment of our normal programming. And uh, today it is the Juice Night Out San Francisco edition. And as promised, we have almost all the DJs that will be at that night. And we're just going to have a little fun, uh, learn a little bit about, well, each other in this case, because we haven't all met in person before. And, uh, you know, share all that with uh, whoever's listening. And you can share it with your friends. And everybody come out to uh, Monarch on April 21st in San Francisco. Did I get all that right, everybody? Yes. I believe that is a Saturday, by the way. Saturday, by the way. Um, so the uh, lineup for the night will be uh, myself, of course, Shuey, Eric Rigsby, who's on here, uh, Hot Mess, Nurse Noise, and Agent 137. And <laughs> we're just going to say Agent 137 because he's not on it, but whatever. <laughs> I'm standing um, here for Oat Mess. She's on here. So she's on this. She has been on every episode except for one. Yep. So oh, wow. we're just going to give her a mulligan on the party. Um, anyway, she did play at the last Breakfast of Champions. So whatever. She's there in spirit. Uh, so let's just jump right in. You know, normally we have a whole lot of stuff at the beginning. Let's just jump right in. And I was going to go um, with this special episode format. Um, if you've never watched this before, or if you watch it now or hear it later, sometimes it goes on for hours, three hours. I think it's the longest one we've ever had. Um, that will not be tonight. We're looking at, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. So uh, let's just go around around the chain with, um, we'll start with, uh, I'm looking at who's in order. Um, Chewy, let's go with you and just give everybody your name, a little bit about yourself and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. All right. I'm Chewy. My real name is Jenny, for those of you that don't know that. I live in San Francisco. I'm from Chicago. Uh, I lived in San Francisco for about 14, almost actually 15 years. And I've been DJing for almost that amount. Uh, I play with the Space Cowboys. Um, I love to bike. Uh, and I met Wes at my, I invited him to play my 40th birthday party. And we, we blew the roof off of Public Works. We broke the record um, <laughs> of attendance, uh, and we've uh, been we've been hanging out ever since. So, uh, pretty, it's been pretty fun so far. Yeah, it has. Um, quick one, just for anybody listening, a little recap on some of that significance in our opinions. Shui and I have played together in, let's see, San Francisco a couple times. San Diego, yep. LA, yep. I think twice, at least once. Uh, Orlando, yep. New York, yep. Vancouver, Seattle, Seattle. <laughs> then now you got them all. That's and a lot. That's good. like I don't know, it's seven or eight. We, but never, we have not played together in Black Rock City, but we're uh, we've been in spirit playing together. We 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 bounced on bouncy horses. That's right, that's no, right. we have not DJed together. Well, well, we played, we played, we've we've literally played back to back like sets uh, at seven times. Like 10, 10 to twelve times now, and not counting shenanigans. Right, uh, right. That was like the very first one, and then ever since then we've been we've been playing together for a while now. And yeah, and good she stuff. Was just number two on the variety show. That's right. Oh, yeah, I was. That's right. Oh yeah. We talked about, right. we talked about side salad. That's right. That's right. Back <laughs> in the day where we were absolutely completely organized. Anyone listening, watching now, later, you think we're disorganized now? <laughs> <laughs> Eric, Eric, my man, Rigsby. What's up, Wes? Hello, everybody. Hello. The most mentioned man on the variety show. I don't know how that happens. I swear. Every single time. And I, this is your third time on here? Third time. And it reminds me of back in the day in the 90s when I used to watch Saturday Night Live. Yeah. They did a skit called the Five Timer Club. And it was all the people that had hosted five times. They all got fancy jackets, has a little five on it. And I was looking at that today. And I was like, okay, two more times. I can be right. part of the Five okay. Timer Club. We'll okay. start. I'm, I'm making a note. I'm making a note. <laughs> there we go. Five Club. Okay. <laughs> but but anyways, tell us about yourself because we know you want to. <laughs> 
So, okay, let's do my synopsis. We'll keep this short. Um, Eric Rigsby, uh, DJ Bay Area. Um, I'm also an architect, and I play uh, combat sports, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Um, yeah, let's, let's move it on. Let's keep this going. Yeah, Leanne. Yeah. What's up? Um, nurse Noise, and uh, live in Oakland, and uh, part of a couple collectives. Um, I started this collective um, with a friend of mine, Daria Mace, um, called Venus Groove Collective, and it's just her and I. She's a choreographer, and I'm a DJ, and we collaborate to do a monthly. Um, and, and that's my avatar where I'm going to be um, DJing, or I am, doing a weekly show at High Fidelity <laughs> um, as well. So I have a lot of like balls in the air right now. Um, and then I do a camp out called Three Degrees, and um, I've been playing out and about a lot this um, this year since like 2000, you know, just in this past year I played um, – been kind of ramping up I feel like even though I've been DJing for a really long time it's just now sort of things are coming together for me so really excited to be um, DJing Monarch with y'all and super excited to be in be uh, invited to be part of your you know night so oh yeah, now, yeah. Please, now please just start with now we're gonna go backwards the other way please just start <laughs> with explaining this photo so I had um, I had a 360 scan done at a place in San Francisco called Dupe, and they take a, a 360 body scan and they put it in their computer and, and I gave them some concept photos and they created an avatar for me, and uh, there she is. <laughs> so. Sweet. And for anyone listening, we will post all this like in the show notes when we post <laughs> that thing later. We're gonna post the photos that we show here because. A lot of people, in fact, the majority listen later to the audio. So, um, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> cool. Then you did that tonight, right? Your first time? Did that, uh, for the, we launched uh, tonight in, at High Fidelity Studio. And um, you can find it online. You can, Or you can, uh, if you have a VR, you can drop in in VR. Or you can um, come down to the studio even and hang out and watch it on the big screen or jump in VR as well. <laughs> I'm not quite I'm not quite there yet, but the next photo. Oh no. I, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh please Eric, do do tell. Describe that photo. <laughs> that's when I was picking her up to do my my show, the video game show Select Star with DJ Eric Rigsby. I wasn't gonna monopolize the whole show and talk about myself, but <laughs> since you brought it up, I mean that photo was taken please? moments before we filmed that episode. <laughs> Well, now that you mentioned it, why don't you give a brief thing about Select Start? All right, okay. Uh, well, huge inspiration came from you, Wes. I can't explain this without just throwing that out there. I really like the approach of just getting DJs a voice, hearing what DJs are into um, outside of just music, but what they do in their private lives. And I'm a big fan of video games. I was really getting into kind of this idea of seeing these Let's Plays and people playing games and just this casual conversation that was happening on the couch. Uh, so I merged them together. I've got a show, Select Start with DJ Eric Rigsby. We've done eight episodes. Um, Agent 137 has been on one of them. And uh, each episode we play a different game and we just, we shoot for about two hours and I edit it down to roughly a 30 minute episode. You're an editing madman, dude. <laughs> yeah, like I need another project that takes up hours and hours and hours of my time. Just for any, just for anybody that's curious, uh, the way this show works, is <laughs> you, you use that little scrub thing at the bottom in all the applications we put it on, and you have to do your own editing. <laughs> Chewy, <laughs> <laughs> leave that up. Leave that up. <laughs> please, please, Chewy, just bring it on. Wait, hey, hey, hold that up a little longer because I don't actually think people can understand that that is me on the left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I even have to admit that I that we outdid ourselves for that costume. But uh that's my Mr. T. My boyfriend to my to the right is Sam, and I'm Mr. Shore T and he is Mr. White T. So and <laughs> so so first good. year so we've been dating for like two and a half years and the it first gets year better. it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> that picture is actually extra funny because my Sam was sitting across from me and he was like, 
he, he took the picture and he looked at it later and he's like, that's my girlfriend. He's like, I can't believe that. So, <laughs> so the first year when we started dating, I told him I'm super into dressing up for Halloween and you have to get into it too. And he's like, okay, I can do it. I don't really usually do costumes, but I can do it. I was like, okay. So, so we start thinking about what we're going to do. And, and the first year that we dated, my idea was we were going to do X. -Men. He was going to be, he's bald. So he was going to be a uh, professor X and I was going to be storm. Except that I had knee surgery on my knee. I had like four surgeries in the last two years. And we decided, well, I'm not going to push him in a wheelchair. So we flipped. And so I put the bald cap on and he was, he was storm. He was very happy to buy a 34 D. Uh, uh, target. So, the version of you two in the wheelchair is stellar. <laughs> so then the next year, we're like, well, we have to, we have to, we have to up our game. We can't, we can't do better than last year. So then the next year, like Sam, Sam's like, let's do Mr. T. I'm like, I don't think we can pull it off. And then we're like, we did it again. We I put up all cap and then I put fabric on top, um, on our heads, and I Sam made the custom hand made those. Uh, chains that was like adorning our chest and our neck and we bought matching outfits. We went to Goodwill and found exactly the same t-shirt. We were both wearing like black leggings. I, he was wearing black women's leggings because they don't really make men's leggings, but they were cheap. So it worked out. It was uh, people at the, I went to this outdoor party on Sunday after Halloween and people were, I was talking to people and they, they were like, Kind of not paying attention because they didn't know it was me and then later <laughs> they they saw me tag myself on facebook and they're like oh shit! oh i can't swear they that that was you i didn't even know and the, literally people were like not talking to me because they didn't know who i was i, I guess I didn't know it might be creepy yeah. asian it was uh girl it was pretty it was pretty awesome well thanks for the story um oh it's to me wait I'll, I get to pick my own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, I don't even know what year that is. It's a while ago, but uh, that's me. Uh, that's at Comic-Con <laughs> at some point. I don't know. Me with Jabba the Hutt. Uh, I was doing my best to uh, to look like Leia, but you know how it goes. Um, all right. So <clears throat> fun photos. Hey, and we've got a couple extra photos that we're going to post and distribute as well that people sent. Yeah. Um, I got one of Kelly in there. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, um, off the photos note, uh, hmm, I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of, um, one of those, like, choose your, you know, which one games. So I think we'll start with Nurse Noise. You ready? Yeah. Beer or liquor? Liquor. <laughs> kale <laughs> or arugula? Uh, kale. <laughs> Burning Man or Coachella? Burning Man. Ice cream or Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey or tequila? Tequila, all the way. <laughs> yeah, there you go, that's my lady. <laughs> all right. Sweet. Um, all right, so um, let's see. Eric, uh, I wanted to do an interesting one with you and Chewy. I want to know. Um, well, actually, sorry, Eric. I already know how you got your DJ name because it's your name. <laughs> it was given to me. It was given to me. It's a fast answer. Sorry to put words in your mouth. Shuey, though, I want to know where your DJ name came from, please. All right. So I played college uh, tennis, and my nickname when I was in, in college was Shuey, but it was spelled more like my last name, which is S H U E Y. So then when I moved to San Francisco, I was dating a guy, Chris, and he, um, I had just started DJing and he's like, we have to have a DJ name. I'm like, okay, I don't know what, I don't know what to call myself. We came up with a bunch of them and he, he was finally settled on going back to my college nickname, Shuey, but then respelling it because uh, he had, well, so the name is now spelled S-H-O-O-E-Y and they are big O's and you can call them whatever you want. They could be records or bicycle wheels or boobs boobs <laughs> they have dots in them so <laughs> in the logo that my uh, boyfriend at the time he came up with, he literally had a napkin we were doing it in a bar and he drew up 
uh, we we drew up prototypes, and that's how we came up with the he, he came up with the dots in the O's. That was his idea. So thanks to Chris, that that name has stuck. Oh yeah, and by the way, it was it worked out great because with the O's being kind of big, <laughs> go look for the logo for DJ Shuey, San Francisco. You find a logo on some flyers. It worked out great because Shuey and I did these sunglasses for the <laughs> all those dates that we did. And we were trying to figure out which side to put the logos on, but we went, you know, it was like some, you know, cheap, like promo sunglasses thing or whatever. And um, and I was like, well, I'll just take my logo, the round one, and put it inside the O's. So it's so big. It worked great. Wait, do you have a do you have one on you? A pair on you? No, no, no. Oh, uh, okay. All right. That's somehow somehow that's a collectible that has managed to not be in the studio. Um I have one more photo I'm going to show real quick, and it's it's just my photo from from this party that we used for the you know to promote this party. But I wanted to show it because um, when we used the photo, and I've used this thing in a lot of stuff. But I wanted to give a shout out because in this one you can see, uh, well, sort of at the bottom. So that photo, I just wanted to say where it was from because you can't tell that from the promotional picture that we used for the Juice Night Out party. But anyway, it's from Substance Crew. They're uh, Kelly, Agent 137, is very familiar with them. They throw a festival called Flower of Life, and that's coming up in May. Um, I'm not playing this year, but I played the last couple of years. A lot of fun, and so I just wanted to give a shout out to the uh, Flower of Life Festival crew. So if you're not in San Francisco and you happen to be over there in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia, Philadelphia, whatever area, go check them out. That's my shout out for the photo. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, that was last year. So that's that. Um, let's see. Eric. Back yes. to you. Yes. Um, it's a favorite. It's a round of favorites. Favorite festival. Because <laughs> I go to so many. <laughs> That's why I got it for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. All right. I'd have to probably say Burning Man because all the art that gets poured into it. Okay. I, I, I think there's nothing like that. You can't compete with that. And me okay. being an artist and an architect and going to art college and that thing, uh, I just really appreciate that part of it. So I'd say Burning Man. All right, Chewy, favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, winter white chocolate. It is made, <laughs> it's made three months, about two and a half months out of the year. Baskin Robbins makes it. My mother owned a Baskin Robbins for 13 years of my life, and I ate ice cream every day of my life that I lived at home. Uh, winter white chocolate is white chocolate ice cream, chocolate covered cherries, and cherry swirl. It is only made between Thanksgiving and the middle of January. So and you cannot get it all year round. It is so good. So anybody that happens to still be around, let's say at like eight or ten a.m. after this party that we're doing, where would they go to get ice cream in San Francisco? Well, right now my current favorite. I have two. One will not be open probably, but Garden <laughs> Cream. One won't be open because it has weird hours. We went there before. Mr. and Mrs. Miscellaneous is the best ice cream in the city, but they have weird hours, unfortunately. Two. The next best is Garden Creamery in the Mission. It's like 17th and Valencia-ish. Okay. 17th and Valencia. It's good. So they also made these, they make these cones made like they, they taste like they're churros. So we're <laughs> gonna take when Wes comes to visit, we're gonna take him because Sam, me, and Wes have an inside joke about churros because when we played in San Diego at three in the morning, they decided to go buy churros and I was passed out in the car and they had to go get churros. So I want to go home and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. All right, the next one is for Nurse Noise. And um, I don't know if I should ask the question first or just show the photo, but what what is your what is your favorite animal? <laughs> right? <laughs> or is it a mythical creature? Just uh just please <laughs> explain this. Just explain it. <laughs> so um a friend of mine, Miranda, um, had this idea to do a boudoir photo shoot. Um, there was a kind of some um, uh, internet buzz with a, a cookie monster or um, something like that with like um, nylons and stilettos on sitting on a couch. It was completely hilarious. Okay. The, um, and so we decided to do our own version of that. So I helped choreograph um, the, the day with my friend Angela, who's a photographer. And um, she took all the photos, Angela T. Photography. And um, she, 
we, I just happened to get this crazy head, unicorn head. And um, <laughs> it was like, it's the most liberating thing um, to put a mask on um, while you're getting your picture taken because you can look like absolute, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> until, until, we bring it here, until we bring it here, of course. Yeah. And um, I don't know if you knew this, but I laughed really hard at this because the first two times I went to Burning Man and the first time Kelly went, well, the first time Kelly and I both went to Burning Man at the same time, um, we were both with Camp Charlie, which is obviously Charlie the Unicorn. So <laughs> I thought it was, we thought it was pretty funny. It's pretty um, fun. Yeah. Oh, hey, Agent 137. Um, as a, as a guest sit-in, what's your favorite spy novel? <laughs> what's my favorite spy novel? Yeah, because you're um, a spy. <laughs> I mean, I'm very into Bond, but I don't. I, they were. I don't know if I've ever read any of the novels before. I have for for your eyes only here. Oh well, you got one. Heck, I don't have any books at all. At least. I <laughs> yeah, I do, I do have one. <laughs> That's it. All right, everybody. As we come to the crisp end of our time together, the last question I thought would be great because what? We're all about music here, right? So yeah. hold on, wait for it. It's gonna be a music question. I'm gonna start with Chewy. Chewy, what's your favorite album? Pearl Jam 10. What's that? Pearl Jam 10. Huh, nice, interesting. Uh, <laughs> Noose Noise, favorite album? Oh, that's so hard. Um, uh, probably like Head on the Door by The Cure. Oh, we have Tequila and Head on the Door in common. Now we can have The Cure. Damn you. Uh, Agent 137. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know. I can't remember the last time I bought an album. How about, how about Magic Carpet Ride? Hey, that's a great <laughs> album. Go Google that, everybody. Wait, 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 fantastic wait, 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 album. Crap off the bus. Eric Rigsby. All right, that's a real tough one for me because I used to listen to a lot of rock music. Very tough. And then I kind of stopped and I listened to a lot of electronic music. And I want to actually say what my favorite DJ mix is. Okay, I'm going to change this one up. And it's a mix that I still listen to. It's like 20 years old. And I'm, I'm like probably more influenced right now in my career by this than anything else. It's DJ Dan's Herb Mix Volume 2. So you look that mix up. <laughs> wow. that mix up. I'm telling you, it's this, the best mix of breaks and house you'll ever hear, and it's 20 years old. Wow. I'm going to drop two. I'm going to drop the Black Keys El Camino. That's without going back like too far. So that's within the last 10 years. I'm a rock fan, but that was one of my favorite blues rock uh, albums there. And on the electronic music side of things, I think I probably have to go with, uh, in terms of influential to me as well, and this is really not going to be a surprise probably to a lot of people, but I would have to say Fat Boy Slim, Better Living Through Chemistry. I knew it. Yeah. Kelly knew it because I made her listen to it like seven times on the way home for Burning Man. <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those. <laughs> awesome. Well, I know that everybody wants to listen to us ramble on more. Who knows? Maybe we'll edit the 30 minutes down to the highlight reel of today's show. Maybe we won't. But yeah, very I, also good. Know, I also know that we've got people on here have things to do, folks. So thank you so much for listening now or later. Uh, April 21st at Monarch, San Francisco. All these awesome people. Good times. Good fun. Come check it out. And you can find more information, uh, juicenightout.com. I updated the ticket links because Shuey, the manager, gets on me about that. So I updated the ticket links. I updated the info links. All the links work. You can go there and check it out for yourself. Verify. Good any, job, party, Wes. any parting words from anybody? Eric, parting word? Excited to do this with everyone. Uh, let's do it. Yeah. Hey, Shuey, it short, man. We're trying to keep this condensed. You don't want to edit this down. Let's do this. Shuey, parting words? We have 40 seconds. I'm super excited to, to play with all of you and see Wes again so we can eat churros. Yeah. And should I bring yeah. you pickles? Parting words? You want pickles? Pickles? <laughs> yeah, Leanne, parting words. Oh, rock on. <laughs> Woo. Perfect. Oh, Agent, one, three, Agent 137 and I both have parting words at the same time. And it's going to be three, two, one. 
Stay classy, yo. Oh. <laughs>